Hey, I have here open QGIS with a layer of proposed protected area resulting from running an overlay to call difference and the result is a number of small meaningless polygons which I want to remove. So I updated the area measures of each of these polygons and I want now based on the area to extract only those which are larger than a certain threshold. So we can look at some of these polygons. We make a selection of this small polygon here and open the attribute table to see how small it is. So this is just a little bit more than one square meter. But what should the threshold be for which polygons we should keep? If we sort these area measures, there are a lot of them which are really, really small. Let's see how an area which is just about 10,000 square meter, how that looks like. We can zoom to it, we can select it. This indeed looks like a strip of land which is there because one of these layers are much more accurately represented than the other. So this can be taken away. Let's see how it looks when we are passing 20,000 square meter. So this might be a different situation. Here we actually have an area which can uh, not be a result of inaccuracy between two layers, but indeed a new area which is proposed. So let's keep this one and there's have a look at those just below. We zoom to this one and we select that one. This might be a, again a situation where it's, it's just a gap between two layers, not sharing the boundaries, and that's for resulting in the slider. So this uh, makes me conclude that the pressure we should use to extract by attributes is an area of 10,000 square meter. Let's make sure. We have turn off all selection and we search for the tool in the processing tool box. Tool is called extract by attribute. We set the input layer to be the one we are investigating here. And then we need to select an attribute on which we will do the extraction based on. So we are, have here an update of the area measures and we identify that this should be larger than 20,000. So we use the operator larger than. We give the output, the name and location. We do not need those which we exclude. So we only keep those which are above 20,000 meters. So we run the two. So the result then seems to be much better. There are still some remaining slivers. But uh, I suggest we say this is good enough.